cancer doesn't sleep, why should we? Absolutely. If cancer doesn't quit, why should we? Yeah. And this started off as a 24 hour event a long time ago, back in 1985, when the event first started. Wow. From the grit and the grind to successful minds, live from the entertainment capital of the world, your hosts, Jillian Batchelor and Daryl Hamilton. Hello, hello, it's Jillian Batchelor. And Daryl Hanna. And we are here on Vegas Real Talk. And today we're talking about everything real, right? In Vegas? Everything real. And actually more in the real world. than cancer. I know. God, you it's guys, real, cancer. But it sucks. But you know what we can do? Cancer does suck. That's the tagline. But you know what we can do, you guys? We can help fund charities. We can help participate in charities. We can help spread awareness. We can help raise money. And we can help try to fight back this cancerous monster out there. Self selfless, horrible disease. I know. Let's get rid of it. And you know what? It actually, it can affect everybody, you guys. Cancer can affect yeah. everybody. I'm sure every listener that is out there, every person that is watching this, every one of us sitting here in this room have known somebody who unfortunately has been affected by cancer. Hopefully we'll know people who have beat cancer. But let's talk about some of the good things that we can do with those, you know, monstrous diseases that are out there. And that would be help to raise awareness, raise charity, yep. raise funds for everything out there to battle this monster. So who do we have with us today? Daryl? Crystal? And Chuck from Relay, Relay for, for Life. Life. Yes. So we're going to pass it over to you guys. Tell us a little bit about who you are, why you started this charity. Give us all the good things, Crystal and Chuck. Introduce yourselves. All right. I'll go ahead and go first. I am Crystal Fulton. I am this year's uh, co-lead for Relay for Life of Southern Nevada. I have been involved in Relay since about 2016. And I got involved because my mother was a breast cancer survivor. My grandmother passed Great. sadly because of it. Oh, and um, during my tenure working with Relay for Life, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Oh, and I am now a three-year survivor. Good for so you! Yay Clap me! To that. Oh, yeah. And uh, Relay for Life is a huge, huge part of my life. Um, like you said, everybody knows somebody that's affected by cancer. For sure. Um, so that that's really why I'm involved. Awesome. I'll let Chuck. Yeah, Chuck, tell us a little bit about you. We'd love to learn more. All right. Uh, my name's Chuck. I've been uh, relaying for 22 years now. Wow. Yeah. Um, I Thank started. <laughs> right. My yes. pleasure. Um, I started basically because somebody was looking for an MC and, you know, no one better than me. And then I learned what I was doing. Yeah. And I decided, oh, this is, this is great. So I got in the committee next year and been there ever since. Wow. And uh, I relay because my dad's fighting liver cancer. He has been for five years now. Wow. He's doing well. Good. And over the years, I've met such awesome people like, what's her name over here? Thanks. Oh, okay. Uh, Crystal. Crystal. Yeah, yeah. Crystal. That's, that's it. it. That's it. Yeah. Thanks, John. So that's very interesting because, you know, we always want to partner with a charity. We want to partner with charities that really do help people and no better charities, again, than those that help with cancer. And so tell us a little bit about Relay for Life. Tell us what it is. So when I hear Relay, I think running, I think um, races, and maybe I'm wrong. So tell me if, I, if I'm if i not a big runner, Jillian Bachelor is not a great runner, but I can be a speed walker, just like a speed talker. So tell me how I would do that. Well, first of all, it's not a run as my body attests. Okay. <laughs> It is a relay, though. A team. We have teams okay. uh, who will raise uh, money all year round. And at the event, they line the track with their booths where they'll continue to raise money. Uh, and one person from the team should be on the track at all times. So that's where the relay comes from. Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah, so okay. there's like at certain points, people take over for others. Sort of. Yeah. Um, we, we ask that each team has at least one representative on the track at all times. The concept behind that is cancer doesn't sleep, why should we? Absolutely. Cancer doesn't quit, why should we? Yeah. And this started off as a 24-hour event a long time ago, back in 1985, when the event first started. Wow. Wow. And um, they would walk for 24 hours. They would spend the night in these campsites, and somebody was always out on the track. Um, our event this year is only going to be seven hours, so you only have to be out there for seven. Uh, and we have a theme this year, which will kind of make it a little more fun for some people. Our theme is... Uh, uh, country. So okay. uh, because our theme is country slash Western, 
we uh, are going to give cancer the boot this year. Oh, there I like go. that. Let's I give cancer it. the boot. So tell us now, do you partner with any, let, let's say there's corporations out there that want to partner with you and help you guys raise money. They want to donate towards you. Where do they donate? Is it a 5013C, which I'm going to assume it is. So tell our listeners about that just so I'm not making any assumptions. And does all the money go to the charity? Do you have operating costs? How much of my money is going to go there if I donate it? Do I get a write-off? Tell me all the things I need to know. Great questions. All right. So Relay for Life of Southern Nevada is an arm of the American Cancer Society. So we are a 501c3. We do have um, sponsorships and donations available. Our sponsorships start as high as, um, it's actually low. Because of the pandemic, we've changed our model. In um, 2019 and prior, we were raising close to 250,000 every year for the American Cancer Society. In 2020 and 2021, we were around 60,000. Wow. wow. So that'll give you an idea of where quarter. where we got lost. Um, we lost a lot yeah. in those couple of years. Um, our goal this year is 70,000. Okay. So our, um, our platinum sponsors, our top level presenting sponsors, uh, $5,000 will get your name on everything wow. under the sun. That'll also get you um, possibly Relay Man or Chuck, whoever's available, okay. um, and myself and other members of the ELT, uh, that's our event leadership team, they'll come out to your uh, corporation and talk to your employees about starting a team, talk about what Relay is, explain how the program works and, and what our event is really all about. And it's one event a year, correct It me? is one event a year. Okay. It is on October 15th, Okay. and it will be this year at Desert Breeze Park. We're super excited to have it a park, yeah. instead of, uh, which is grass, instead of... My feet don't like the concrete so much <laughs> yes. anymore. Yeah, um, so. yeah, that's great. What to are some of the places it's been before? Um, the last couple of years, um, our presenting sponsor has been uh, Caesar's Entertainment for the last few years. We've had co-presenting sponsors, um, but they have been nice enough to donate locations for us to use. That's great. Okay. So um, in the past, it's been at the Link, uh, the Rio. Um, where else have we had them prior to that, Chuck? Oh, the M. Um, and so when they're at those places, you are walking out on like concrete yep. and the pavement, right? Mm-hmm. So it's at a park. It's going to be nice. This will be, this will be a, a, Maybe a little cooler. An upgrade for my feet this year. Yeah. I'll tell you that. <laughs> so at a typical relay event that you guys are hosting, how many people are there? So what, what do we have last year? 200 or so. But in the past, I think we've been over 300. Wow. Oh, I, that's great. Yeah, More some than of that. ours. Some have been, been in the thousands, thousands right? Yeah. yeah. But that's amazing. So if I have a team out there, is it a team? Like if, like if our team wants to come, do we do our team t-shirts and are we a team? And is there a, some kind of competition? Because I mean, Daryl Hannah, my business partner over here is very competitive. So is there a competition? Tell me, I, I want to know all the fun things about it. What can all I do? Right. Can I get a water balloon while we're, while we're doing a relay? And can I shoot them with water balloons or a squirt oh, gun? Anything. You can do Tell them right me now. Yes. <laughs> Okay, I like that. I like it. Daryl, I see a dunk tank in your future. I, I also see a dunk tank in his future. Yeah, um, so, yeah, so cancer. a lot of the fun stuff that we do, um, so we have themed laps. Okay. Um, all of our themed laps vary based on our, on our you know, event each year. Um, but some of the standards, we have bubble laps. We have um, uh, hat, crazy hat laps, things like that. But uh, this year, I think we're hoping to get uh, maybe a line dance lap where a okay. few line dances around. All right, Daryl, we're about to line dance. Right? Let's do this, buddy. Do You're do. the country western girl. Um, we have activities, and uh, there's lots of raffles. Each of the teams, but you were asking about teams. If you mm-hmm. set up a team, and that's really easy to do, you go to the same website that our sponsors would go to or and any individual that wants to sign up, and that's relayforlife.org slash SNV for Southern Nevada. Okay. That's Simple. Relayforlife.org slash SNV. You got it. Southern Nevada. Yep. Okay. And you could sign up a team. You can sign up an individual. If you're a if you're a uh, survivor, you can indicate that as well or a caregiver. Wow. Um, you can purchase Luminaria, which we haven't talked about, but you do want to know about. Okay. And, um, and then your team would then, um, you bring more people onto your team. You fundraise up into the event. And a lot of the teams fundraise at the event. So it becomes kind of a fun thing. There's raffles, there's prizes, there's activities. Um, one of our top uh, top fundraising teams, uh, I'm, I'm going to give her a shout out, is Janie's Lap Beads. And she has the best fundraiser. Since we're walking in a circle, she'll give you a bead. If you donate, she'll give you a string and she'll give you a bead every time you walk around. Oh, that's great. So you can count how many times you've gone around. It's a whole bunch oh, of fun. Wow. Yes. Yeah. So when is the deadline? If I want to sign up, I want to do a team. You said it's October 15th is the actual event. When is the deadline? If I want to do a team, I want to donate, I want to 
all things. What is my deadline? Okay, so no deadline. Um, you can walk. You can show up to the day of the event, the event. All the way up to the day what's of the, the event. What's the day of the event again? The day of the event is October fifteenth. Fifteenth. Okay. Yes. It's a Saturday. Um, we start at two o'clock in the afternoon and we go till nine. Wow. Wow. Two to nine at Desert Breeze Park. Yes. October fifteenth. So I Put love that. Calendar. I love that. I definitely want to do that. So let's talk about. So let, let's switch it for one second, if we can get serious just for a second. I know there's lots of different cancers out there. Obviously, I'm not a doctor. I'm a realtor. But I know that the, the best way to battle cancer is to be ch checking. Mm -hmm. Check yourself for certain types of cancer. Like women, we can check for breast cancer. We can look for lumps. Um, go and see a doctor regularly. Men, I know it's colon cancer is a pretty big deal. Prostate cancer is a pretty big deal. And obviously, you go to a doctor for that. I know that they say usually after like your 40s. Um, so I know that the best thing you can do is be proactive. Be an advocate for yourself. If cancer runs in your family, if there's a lot of hereditary cancers, if you're a smoker, go and get checked for throat cancer, lung cancer. If you do tobacco, go check for lip you know, cancer. Yeah. So tell us what you know about what are some of the best ways that we can help to, because that's the best way to fight against it is to be your own advocate. So give me some information on that. You want to take it? Or you want to take no, it? go ahead. You're doing fine. Oh my fine. goodness. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Chuck's um, like me. I just It's just like there, whatever. Just talk, talk, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. So uh, not only is prevention the best thing to do, yeah. but education is great. For sure. Uh, the American Cancer Society has a great website, cancer.org. Okay. that can give you all sorts of information and they can tell you um, information on types of cancers, what to expect, where to get help, how to get resources. Um, it's also a great place to go if you know somebody that has cancer yeah. and is looking for some support. That's a great place to go as well. Um, you can also um, you can also really make sure that you're paying attention to when you when you go to your doctor for your regular visits, ask questions, ask questions about anything that you see that's different. Yeah. Because you may not know that that's something important. That's why we do it. That's why we go to our doctors, right? Yeah. And so when your body, you know, you know your body better than anyone. And so, and I know that I want to make a really big point out there because my brother is radiation tech. He deals with cancer patients day in and day out. Cancer does not have to be a death sentence. I want to make it very, very, very clear. There's lots of people that survive cancer. You hear the word cancer. It is the big, ugly C word out there. It scares people. But cancer does not have to be a death sentence. They are, like you said, prevention, number one. Please look into prevention. If you think something's wrong, yes, you can see visual things like skin cancer. You can see moles and things like that in your body. But also, if you have lots of headaches, go see a doctor. Go get checked out, get a brain scan, get an MRI, get a CAT scan. Um, I know I'm a big headache sufferer myself, migraine sufferer, they always send me in for that. If you know that your family has uh, lung cancer, again, if you're a smoker, go and check that out. If you know that your family has had breast cancer, prostate cancer, all these different things, go and get yourself checked out. Don't be afraid to be your own advocate. Don't be afraid to go to a doctor. I'd rather go to a doctor a thousand times than have to think something is wrong. Um, definitely do research, you guys, do research. Because I know this, and I, again, I'm not a doctor, but I know the earlier you detect cancer, the better your chances of survival are. So please know that cancer does not equal a death sentence, but if you refuse to go to a doctor and you refuse to get checked out or you think it's no big deal, that's when it can become a death sentence. For sure. If you wait too long. And so we want to make sure that people know that. And our family members, you guys, we're advocating for you. Because I know if, when I lose family members, it's very, very, very sad. There are also certain... Uh, ethnicities that are ha more prone to certain cancers than others. There are certain sexes, breast cancer, but men can get breast cancer too, you guys. This is a big one. A lot of people don't know. Men can get breast cancer. So you think it's just, you know, us women, it's not. So definitely please look into that. Look into doing your research. Be an advocate. Do what's important. And then, Daryl, I want to talk to you a little bit about this. I know we have for years, we're a real estate team here in Las Vegas. We specialize in buying and selling homes, so we're definitely not doctors. But we have for years, always on our team, believed in the fact that when you help us and we help you buy a home in Las Vegas, we donate back to charities. And every year we use local charities that we can donate our commissions, a portion of our commissions to. And we've done that and it's been wildly successful. And so I know last year we put in into our team where we had a couple of charities that we definitely vetted, really, really important, and that we supported and we let our clients choose. A portion of your commission is going to go towards this charity, this charity, this charity, and we'll donate that in our client's name. So if you're looking to do something good and you're a client out there and you think all realtors are the same, well, definitely they're not all the same. First <laughs> off, you want to make sure you have a realtor with great negotiation skills, understands what they're doing, has ties to the community, can get your offers accepted, all the real estate stuff. But also, is your realtor putting good out in the world? And we at the Bachelor Hand Group, we want to do that. Yep. So we want to make sure that we are bringing in charities that we believe in and that we're supporting those charities. Right, Daryl? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing. I mean, you have to give back. You have to 
take care of the people that are taking care of you. And every, you know, cancer touches everybody. So I really believe by giving no back to little. charities that have to do with any kind of cancer, um, you, you are giving back to, to everybody. Yeah. So just remember that when you partner with the Bachelor Hannah Group to buy or sell your home, we're going to be supporting cancers out there, actual charities out there like Relay for Life and others that really are near and dear to our heart and yeah. that we want to support and make sure that we get out there. So tell us some other ways, Crystal and Chuck, that tell us some other ways about how you get, like spread the word, spread the word about what you guys do. Because I believe what you were telling me about post COVID and pre COVID and during COVID. A lot of that has to do with just, I believe, people knowing what's happening, knowing what's out there. Obviously, your event, even though it was an outdoor event, a lot of people weren't getting together during groups. So I know that that probably made things yeah. hard. But we want to get the publicity out there. We want people to know about you. Do you guys do any kind of social media or do you have any we social media pages or anything? We, we do, do do social media. Um, we, like Crystal mentioned, we don't have a budget. So we don't have a budget for publicity. Got it. So we rely on uh, community billboards and and things like today, like and here, like today. Show, you guys so we're going to spread the word. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We're going to get you out on our social media. So Absolutely. what I can tell you is we, we do have Facebook. We have Instagram. We have Twitter. So, so what is what, your Facebook, what's Instagram? What's Facebook, Instagram page? Our Facebook page is um, at Southern Nevada RFL. Okay. Our Instagram is at Relay for Life SNV. You're and getting all this, Christian? <laughs> oh, I'm going to handle. We're going to get this all oh, on, on all of our social media because we want to spread the yeah. word for you yeah. guys. And, uh, and Twitter is at RFL SNV, so pretty easy. Um, everything's pretty much the same. Um, but as far as getting the word out, it's difficult. Um, honestly, it's it difficult is. with um, without having a budget. Yeah, I yeah. can't. I can't. You know, I, I can only write so many press releases and yeah. hope somebody reads one. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the other thing that I can tell you is that what you were. Funding when you donate to Relay for Life is going to the American Cancer Society's programs like our Hope Lodge, which houses people that are having to go somewhere that's outside of their normal location to get to cancer treatments, okay. takes care of their families and things like that. And, wow. and something that uh, the American Cancer Society did that I thought was really cool during the during the um, uh, whole COVID thing, um, they they didn't feel comfortable having cancer people with cancer in the lodge in close vicinity yeah it's somebody who could have covid so yeah. what they did was they, op they opened it up to nurses and doctors wow who didn't want to go home and you know possibly spread possibly something possibly spread it to their family wow wow that's right. awesome oh yeah circularly giving back was pretty amazing yeah. of the american cancer wow. society and that's that's just well so you got i mean and think about you got cancer and you've got to go to you live in Nevada and you've got to go to Florida or you got to go to, you know, Pennsylvania, wherever. I mean, it's such a huge cost for some of these people that those type of uh, programs really help a lot. Right. Yes. Yeah, they really do. Because imagine you're already per thinking that you're fighting for your life. Right. It's potentially potentially you're already fighting a, a disease. You're fighting this invisible monster. Right. That you can't go and, and say something to or talk to fighting this invisible disease, you're doing the best you can, then you have to travel, you have to be away from your comfortable surroundings. I hate to travel just when I have a cold. I can't imagine <laughs> having a disease and then traveling. And so that's already so terrible as it is. So people, we, we need help, we need support, we need you guys to share this podcast, we need you guys to share Relay for Life, we need you to go to their Facebook page, their Instagram page, their social medias. We need you to donate. Get it out there, we need you to donate. We need you to really push forward. And if you're willing to donate on a more consistent basis, we would love that as well. Because again, cancer is something that it does not discriminate. It doesn't care how old you are, what race you are, what sex you are, how you identify, what you do for a living, what part of the country you live in, what part of the world you live in. And so tell me ab about, do you have any stats for Las Vegas versus other cities about how um, Relay for Life is impacting what you guys are doing? I don't have stats on me. Um, okay. Wasn't quite prepared for that. That's okay. Question. Sorry. Um, have any off the top of your head not off the top of my head so now is it mostly though or, or is it a full mix and i apologize for not knowing this but is it mostly people that you guys are helping is it more men is it more women is it more children oh, no, it's it's mm -hmm. all uh, all cancers wow we, we do right. yeah we focus on all cancers and that's the one thing about relay for life um we are when you say cancer doesn't discriminate neither does relay for life Good. we are inclusive of all cancers we are uh, represented by the color purple but we, uh, that, that is because we incorporate every type of cancer in our program. That even includes childhood cancer, 
Um, last year we had a great program. We had a team that was a gold together team, which is all the money they raised went specifically to fight childhood cancers. Wow. Um, wow. So that was kind of incredible. Um, I can tell you though, I did find some stats for you that um, since 1991, death rates from cancer have dropped 31%. Oh, that's great. Um, that's more than 3 million lives that we've saved. Wow, um, that's amazing. Survivors, I love survivors. Yes. Wow. Survivors are, are, they're my people. And don't you, <laughs> don't you think as, as time goes by and our technology in, gets better and that those numbers are gonna continue to keep increasing? I do. Hopefully. I and, do. and one of our goals is to put the American Cancer Society out of business. I would yeah. love to put them out of business, it's you guys, because that means we're curing cancer and we're doing good things. So let me ask you another question about this. If I were to donate, just because I know people are gonna ask these questions, could I dictate where I want my money to go? Do I want it to go to uh, you know, brain cancer? I want it to go or to leukemia, colon cancer. Yep. Any specific? So for Relay for Life, unfortunately, you can aim it towards childhood cancer specifically with a gold together team yep or it can go directly to um the american cancer society through relay for life okay love so, that. but what i can tell you and and this just might be appropriate for you today jillian is uh relay for life is truly the uh, official sponsor of birthdays oh i love that and you guys the reason why she's mentioning that is yesterday was my birthday i am a uh, wonderful 40 years old at this point but we're celebrating it today because yesterday was a national holiday, not for my birthday, but it was celebrated for Juneteenth. My birthday is June 20th. Um, so yeah, so she's mentioning that. So I love that. And, and one thing about um, uh, Relay for Life and the money going towards uh, to the American Cancer Society, some of it stays here for local, <clears throat> excuse me, for local programs like uh, Road to Recovery, where uh, volunteers will take uh, somebody who has cancer who really can't drive to and from their appointments and oh. stuff like that. And, and um, you know, it, most of the money that goes to the American Cancer Society goes towards research. I love uh, that. Research so we can combat what's happening. And you know what, I want to go back for one second because something just hit me. We were talking about birthdays, and I was talking about my birthday. And I'm celebrating my 40th birthday, and I'm young and healthy. And I was just thinking, how special would it have been if I'm a survivor of really any disease, but especially cancer, each, each and every birthday that you get beyond that has to be yeah. so much more impactful and powerful to your life and more special than, than, any, than I could even imagine right now because I do not suffer from any diseases momentarily. I hope I don't ever, but um, it, so I can't even imagine how powerful that would be for each birthday you get to be able to say, wow, I'm, I'm a cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a colon cancer survivor. So, I mean, that just really hit me right then, and so I wanted to bring that up. Let's not forget, and I know in a world that we live in today, sometimes we can have selfish moments, and I wasn't thinking that today when I was celebrating my birthday. I wasn't thinking all the people who would love to celebrate another birthday or really are just counting down for one more birthday. And so, really, that, that's a powerful statement right there. Let's, yeah. let's get these people more birthdays. That's more what birthdays. I want. Let's celebrate more birthdays. And one thing that uh, hasn't been mentioned yet is that we really celebrate our survivors at Relate for Life. They do the first lap. I was going to point that out. Wow. I see. That's beautiful. And, and let me tell I you about that. powerful. Let me tell you how powerful that is. And I can tell you this because this past relay um, in 2021 was my first relay walking as a survivor. Wow. Not because um, I wasn't a survivor prior to that. It's just that we didn't actually have an in-person yeah. relay. Um, and I thought, oh, I'm going to be brave. This is going to be so cool. Watch me walk out there. And I walked out there with the first lap and cried the entire lap around. I can imagine. <laughs> it was the most powerful thing to listen to all of these people cheering you on as a survivor of cancer and just clapping and celebrating with you. And we have an entire group of survivors that go out and walk around the track with us. Wow. And if you don't think that's the most uh, powerful thing you've ever heard, you should see our luminaria ceremony. So tell me a little bit about the luminaria ceremony. I want to get into that. All right. So um, at sundown, and you can experience this for yourself on October 15th if you come join us. Okay. At sundown, we line the track with bags. And each of those bags has been purchased in memory of or in support of either a cancer survivor or someone that, that they've lost. Wow. And those are lit around the track. The sun goes down. We dim the lights. And we walk. Wow. Sometimes we walk in silence. 
sometimes we walk quietly while they read the names of the survivors. And this year, our Luminaria chair has some really cool stuff planned. And I can tell you, there's no way to experience it other than to actually just experience it. Yeah. When you were telling me about that, Chris, I mean, look, Daryl, I have goosebumps on my arms. Goosebumps from just how powerful. I mean, that just really sent chills up my spine on how powerful that is. I can just imagine. I can envision it. I can visualize it right now. And just to think, like, how meaningful that is. Those who have lost their life, but those who have also survived. And I can just imagine being a survivor out there thinking, looking at the crowd, hearing people cheer me on and think, I matter. I still matter. Me being here still matters. Yeah. And that's so powerful. And you guys, that's why everybody out there, we need your support. We need your help. Please go check out Relay for Life. We need to raise awareness. Please share this podcast. Please go to their websites and their social media sites. Please check out the American Cancer Society and see what you can do to help this this powerful disease, but to, so we can get more survivors with more birthdays. Right, Daryl? Absolutely. And it's important that we bring this up, you guys. We want to make sure at Vegas Real Talk that Daryl, Hannah, and I are not just talking about real estate, not just talking about money, but actually talking about real topics, which is why we're called Vegas Real Talk, but real topics that actually impact people day in and day out. And this is not about home ownership. This is not about um, just all the good things that Vegas has to offer, but also the things that are really important. Yeah, that and are impacting people's lives. Every you never day. know. Tomorrow this can impact your life. I hope it doesn't. I hope it never impacts anybody's life again. But let's let's empower ourselves with the tools of how we check ourselves out, how we become our advocates, how we support other survivors, how we get better medicine, better technology, better research. All those things are needed. Yeah, absolutely. My my mom passed away about eleven years ago uh, from cancer, and I just I remember when she was in hospice for she was there for like two months. Um, it was, it's so much care that's needed mm -hmm. and, and it impacts so many people's lives, not just the nurses, but all the family members and just, it's, it's a lot of, it's very draining. Um, I just remember it being so not only, you know, time wise, but just God, the amount of people it takes to run a hospice was just really mind blowing to me. Uh, and it's 24 hours, right? Emotionally, um, physically, mentally drained. Yeah, and then uh, it it's it definitely is is something worth uh, putting your money towards, and you know, especially for the research and, and getting better with that with technology. It costs money. It's very expensive. Right, and the, the lucky survivors who don't go to um, hospice, uh, we also celebrate their caregivers. Wow. The ones who uh, was with them 24 hours a day. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, running with the bucket. Uh, with Thank goodness you do, because those are the uns unsung heroes. Oh, they are. They <coughs> really just need to be celebrated, need to be, because the job that they do sometimes I feel like can be thankless. Not that the person going through it isn't thanking them, but just we so we put so much focus on the person, the, the survivor, hopefully. But we forget about these people, I think, at times, just naturally, that are putting their lives on the line and how emotionally taxing that has to be on them. So we want to make sure that we're definitely celebrating them and, you know, just those are the heroes. Those are the people who are really making those survivors, keeping their attitude positive. And I know yeah. that, and again, not a doctor, not a psychologist, not a psychiatrist, but I know that a positive attitude means so much when you're battling a disease. And those around you with positive attitudes mean so much. You can let poison come into your mind. And we have to really make sure that people don't do that. And when they're going through these situations, that poison is not coming into their mind and that they're being as positive as possible because that's how they need, they need that inner strength to be able to fight off this disease. Wouldn't you agree, Chris and Chuck? I 100% agree with that. I think that our caregivers are the reason we have so many survivors out there with their positive attitudes and their support. Our caregivers join our survivors on the second lap out there at wow. Relay. Awesome. So we want all the caregivers out there, along with all the survivors, to sign up and make sure that they check that little box that says, yes, I'm a caregiver, yes, I'm a survivor. So I expect to see yours checked with a yeah. caregiver box on there oh, he will and and uh and and you know just just come out and so celebrate with us um celebrate our thanks to all the caregivers out there the survivors couldn't be here without you and well, yeah the, the most important thing not only that we celebrate and we remember but we fight back against this horrible disease so one more time, we just want to remind you guys. So October 15th is the event. It's Relay for Life. Tell us your website one more time. If people want to go online, they want to sign up, they want to do a team, they want to donate. One more time. It is relayforlife.org slash SNV for Southern Nevada. Okay, you guys, please Easy. sign up. We would love to see you have a team out there. We would love to see you on October 15th. Again, Daryl Hanna, Jillian Batchelor here. We're with Vegas Real Talk. Daryl, want to leave us with any words of wisdom before the next week? 
Go to the website and donate. Yes, I love that. <laughs> you guys, Crystal and Chuck, thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank we you. really thank appreciate you. it. You guys are doing amazing work. You guys are some unsung heroes out there. We want to definitely applaud you, celebrate you. We want to tell you thank you for everything that you're doing. Again, you guys, until next week, this is Jillian Bachelor And Daryl Hannah. And we are with Vegas Real Talk. See you thank soon. You. Bye.